Imagine if you could fit an airplane into your driveway. Need to go out for dinner? Jump in your plane and fly to the city of your choice. That was the dream of John Travolta, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get updated about the latest videos. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Florida is known for its wildness. Some of the wackiest things in the world happen in Florida. John Travolta also happens to have a house here, and it is just as wild. John Travolta's Florida house is the dream house of every airplane enthusiast. Travolta himself loves flying planes and has five planes. He was on the lookout for a house that could fit well within his aviation hobby, and that's when he came across Jumbo Lair Aviation Estates, seven miles northeast of Acala. The estate includes a 7,550-foot-long main runway that's long enough to accommodate planes as big as a Boeing 747 or Travolta's beloved 707 jetliner. The estate itself has a rich history and was owned by world-famous horse breeder Muriel Vanderbilt. After her, the estate moved on to the ownership of Arthur Jones, owner of fitness company Nautilus. Arthur Jones himself was a huge fan of planes, and after his ownership of the estate, he started incorporating his love for airplanes into the estate. After his divorce in 1989, his wife Terry got ownership of the estate, and the aviation factor of the property really took off. Reportedly, a whopping $6 million were spent on the 7,550 feet long airstrip of this esteemed estate. The 7,550 feet runway is the longest private runway in the world and is the main selling point of the estate. In 2019, the entire estate became available on the market and that's when it caught the attention of the Travoltas. The estate includes 550 acres of prime real estate also included the deal are a swimming pool with an attached hot tub, a fitness center with original vintage Nautilus equipment, and an 8,735 square feet conference center, which is its maximum capacity, can hold over 400 people. Spread across the estate are a couple more goodies that sweeten the deal. These include 90,000 square feet of warehouses and a total of 47 estate lots, all of which have runway access through taxiways that extend right up to their front door. The price for the entire estate was announced to be $10.5 million, which adjusted for inflation today comes out to be a staggering $15.6 million. The Travoltas bought in at the time with $3.5 million. The area they bought covers a total of 9.5 acres, John Travolta's $250 million net worth came very much in handy here. The $3.5 million adjusted for inflation becomes $5.2 million today. All this is fueled by John Travolta's love for aviation. The Hollywood superstar is a certified private pilot and spends his time soaring in the skies. The Jumbo Lair estate was a gift from God since John was on the lookout for a house that could satisfy the pilot inside him for eight years. His late wife Kelly stated, quote, it was always John's dream to have planes in his front yard to practically be able to pull up to the house so that when you wanted to go to dinner, all you'd have to do was step out the door, get on a plane and whisk off, end quote. The mansion designed by expert architect Dana Smith took around two years to construct and focuses on luxury and comfort. The swimming pool has a hot tub attached and also a cabana. John Travolta, the star of Saturday Night Fever, apparently never lost his love for dancing since the cabana has been specifically built for dancing, features a large, empty space in the center that can be cleared for dancing. Now let's talk about the planes whose love inspired John Travolta to buy this absolute beauty of a house. John Travolta has a total of five planes, and his favorite is the Qantas Boeing 707. The 707 was a commercial passenger plane at the beginning, but Travolta had it customized to his liking and has now been fitted with a dining room, master bedroom, a kitchen, and the passenger seats have been replaced with bigger and softer sofas. It could seat up to 25 passengers. John Travolta says the plans are used for both his personal and business work. His late wife Kelly stated that we fly in and out a lot. Last year when Johnny was shooting a movie in Tampa, we flew to and from work every day. Each night, the kids and I would go out in a golf cart, watch the landing, then bring Johnny to the house while the plane taxied in. It was very exciting. The 707 was bought from Qantas Airlines and John Travolta became their goodwill ambassador in exchange for maintenance of his beloved plane. 
The plane, however, finally retired in 2017 and was sent over to the Aviation Museum in Australia. Rumors have it that the 707 was also owned by famous Rat Pack member Frank Sinatra once. Other than the Boeing 707, the John Travolta also owns a Gulfstream, a Bombardier Challenger, and an Eclipse 500. The Bombardier Challenger was bought in 2011 and then also became an ambassador for the Bombardier company. This plane is the one that he uses when he goes out with his family. He says it's super comfortable in the cabin and that's why he loves it. The Gulfstreams are widely famous among the elite and basically all rich people have them. Travolta's Gulfstream, however, is famous for a different reason, and it's not a good one. His Gulfstream 2 is the victim of a terrible catastrophe. In 1922, Travolta was flying the Gulfstream when suddenly out of nowhere, all the electronic systems of the plane failed. With no help in the sky whatsoever, Travolta had no one but himself to look out to. Help from ground control couldn't come since communication also went out. Travolta, however, proved to be quite a worthy pilot and successfully landed the plane with no casualties. He did donate the plane later on in memory of his late son. The plane was worth $5 million at the time. Which plane do you like the most and which part of the house did you think was the best? Let us know down in the comments. That was it for this video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one.